The Indian Human Spaceflight Program (HSP) was created by the Indian Space Research Organisation (ISRO) to develop the technology needed to launch crewed orbital spacecraft into low Earth orbit. The first crewed flight is planned with a spacecraft called Gaganyaan for December 2021 on a home-grown GSLV-3 rocket. Previously, human spaceflight was not the priority for ISRO, though most of the required capability for it had been realized. ISRO has already developed most of the technologies for crewed flight and it performed a crew module atmospheric re-entry experiment and a pad abort test for the mission. The project will cost less than 10,000 crore rupees. In December 2018, the government approved further 100 billion rupees, 1.5 billion dollars for a 7 days crewed flight of 3 astronauts to take place on December 2021. Topic: History On 9 August 2007 the then chairman of the ISRO, G. Madhavan Nair, indicated the agency as "...seriously considering..." the creation of the Human Spaceflight Program. He further indicated that within a year ISRO would report on its development of new space capsule technologies. Development of a fully autonomous orbital vehicle to carry a two-member crew into a low Earth orbit (LEO) began a few months after that, when the government allocated 95 crore rupees (13.2 million dollars) for pre-project initiatives for 2007 through 2008. A crewed mission into space would require about 12,400 crore rupees, 1.7 billion dollars, and a period of 7 years for development. The planning commission estimated that a budget of 5000 crore rupees $695.7 million was required for initial work on the crewed mission during 2007 to 2012. In February 2009, the Government of India gave the green light for the Human Space Flight Program, but fell short of fully funding it or creating the program. The trials for crewed space missions began in 2007 with the 600 kg Space Capsule Recovery Experiment SRE, launched using the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV rocket, and safely returned to Earth 12 days later. This followed with the Crew Module Atmospheric Reentry Experiment, and the Pad Abort Test in 2018. This enables India to develop heat-resistant materials, technology and procedures necessary for human space travel. Defence Food Research Laboratory has worked on the space food for crewed spaceflight and has been conducting trials on G-suit for astronauts as well. A prototype advanced crew escape suit weighing 13 kilograms was built by Shore Safety India Private Limited based on ISRO's requirements has been tested and performance verified having shown success in all preliminary tests the decisive push for the creation of the human spaceflight program took place in 2017 and it was accepted and formally announced by the prime minister on the 15th of August 2018, on December 28, 2018, the Indian Union Cabinet approved the funding for Indian Space Research Organisations (ISROs) Human Spaceflight Program, under which a three-member crew will be sent to space for seven days and is expected to cost 9,023 crore rupees. The testing phase is expected to begin from December 2020 and the mission will be undertaken by 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Spacecraft development 
The main objective of this program is to develop and fly the 3.7-ton spaceship called Gaganyaan that will carry a three-member crew to low Earth orbit and safely return to Earth after a mission duration of a few orbits to two days. The launch is planned for December 2021. The extendable version of the spaceship will allow flights up to seven days, rendezvous and docking capability with space stations or with an orbital platform. In October 7, 2016, Vikram Sarabhai Space Center Director K. Savan stated that ISRO was gearing up to conduct a critical crew bailout test called ISRO Pad Abort Test to see how fast and effectively the crew module could be released safely in the event of an emergency. The tests were conducted successfully on 5 July 2018 at Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sriharikota. This is the first test in a series of tests to qualify a crew escape system technology. India will not use any animals for life support systems testing. As of August 2018, ISRO plans to launch its crewed orbiter Gaganyaan atop a geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle MK3, GSLV MK3. About 16 minutes after lift off, the rocket will inject the orbital vehicle into an orbit 300 to 400 kilometers above Earth. The capsule would return for a splashdown in the Arabian Sea near the Gujarat coastline. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Infrastructure development. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Human rating of GSLV. Human rating rates the system is capable of safely transporting humans. ISRO will be building and launching two missions to validate the human rating of the GSLV MK3. Topic: <laughs> New launch pad. A new launch pad which can accommodate human-rated GSLV, MK3 and entry of astronauts will be built. <laughs> Escape system The escape system will boast of a recently included geometry. Work on parachute enlargement and new architecture are also going on. Topic: Astronaut training. In March 2008, it was proposed that Russia would provide assistance in crew selection and training aboard a Soyuz capsule in preparation for the Indian mission. However, in October 2010, this option was discarded. M. C. Dathan, director of Satish Dhawan Space Center (SDSC), stated that ISRO will set up a facility in Bangalore for training astronauts, Vyamanauts. ISRO is planning to build a third launch pad at Sriharkota for crewed missions with extra facilities like entry into the crew capsule and an escape chute. A site of 140 acres (0.57 square kilometers) nearby the Kempegada International Airport has been identified. The 1,000 crore rupees (139.1 million dollars) center will train the selected astronauts in rescue and recovery operations, operate in zero gravity environment, and monitoring of the radiation environment. In spring 2009 a full-scale mock-up of the crew capsule was built and delivered to Satish Dhawan Space Centre for training of astronauts. India will be short-listing 200 Indian Air Force pilots for this purpose. The selection process would begin by the candidates having to complete an ISRO questionnaire, after which they would be subjected to physical and psychological analyses. 
only four of the 200 applicants will be selected for the first space mission training. While two will fly, two shall act as reserve. ISRO signed an Memorandum of Understanding with Institute of Aerospace Medicine to conduct preliminary research on psychological and physiological needs of crew and development of training facilities. <laughs> 